17 best foods to fix diabetes in one week now when i say fix diabetes in one week i'm not saying reverse the diabetes in one week but significantly lower your blood sugar so i'm not selling false hopes here i'm an endocrinologist i'm a diabetes specialist i'm on your side i'm here to help you not just telling you to take medications but also how to eat and what to eat to get your diabetes straight in no time so welcome back to our channel where we share all these tips and tricks for living a healthier life so you know that diet plays a huge role when it comes to managing your diabetes type 1 or type 2 diabetes right that's why you're here that's why you're watching this video I've put together a list of 17 foods that will help you fix diabetes in just one week at least drop your blood sugars quite a bit so grab a pen and paper and simply hit the save button on this video or download the video like it share it you don't want to miss this I know what you're thinking can these foods really turn things around in just a week certainly can but remember everyone's body is a little different so it may take longer for some people but it will get it done if that's not working out in a week or two then you may want to amp up your arsenal with some supplements from sugarmds.com and most of you already are and sometimes if everything fails i will use some low dose medications for my patients to keep the side effects at bay and get the numbers under control that is where the medications come in like as a last resort also for those who want more information i have a new diabetic diet book it's a new book not the old one it's a new book it is called doctor's guide to diabetic diet again i give it out for free at sugarmds.com so check that out so my first suggestion to you today is gonna be raspberry and blackberry especially for the breakfast i would say start your breakfast with some raspberries and blackberries maybe with some yogurt these juicy berries are not only delicious but they're also packed with antioxidants that can improve your insulin sensitivity and lower your blood sugar levels and they are a great source of dietary fiber which helps slow down the absorption of your blood sugar now today you had yogurt with some berries right tomorrow what are you gonna do maybe some eggs right they often get a bad rap for being high in cholesterol, but did you know that they can actually help manage diabetes quite a bit? Studies have shown that eggs can improve insulin sensitivity and reduce the inflammation in the body. So having one or two eggs a day really is not going to hurt anybody. They are a great source of protein. It helps you keep feeling full and satisfied the rest of the day. So when you're eating eggs, you will realize the rest of the day, you're not feeling like you have to eat the rest of the world. You will be okay, satisfied for the rest of the day, and that will reduce your consumption of other food, which will reduce your cholesterol automatically anyway. Now, next morning, what are you gonna do? Well, how about some chia seeds? This is very tiny and mighty chia seeds are very good very very rich in omega-3 and fatty acids omega-3 fatty acids and minerals like calcium and magnesium they also have the ability to slow down the conversion of carbohydrates into sugar making a great addition to any diabetes friendly diabetic breakfast in my new book i have a lot of recipes as well quick like i have 10 recipes for each breakfast lunch and dinner you're gonna love it now, for those people who are more adventurous, how about some cheese, right? Not a regular cheese, but some pecorino romano or some goat cheese or this fancy stuff that, that they're really cool when it comes to managing diabetes. Why? Well, these cheese are low in carbohydrates. They are high in protein and high in healthy fats. So they're a great choice for those people who want variety in their diabetic breakfast, for example. And I will always tell you, have breakfast every morning. That's going to help your dawn phenomenon. That's going to help your blood sugar rest of the day. For people who are skipping breakfast, they see that their blood sugar constantly going up without eating, and they're surprised. Why is it going up? Well, because you skipped the breakfast. That's why your hormones are kicking in, your cortisol stress hormones are kicking in, and that's not good for your body. Now, how about some guava for fruit lovers? Move over, oranges and mangoes there's a new vitamin in the town vitamin c why guavas are not only rich in vitamin c actually they also have a very low glycemic index meaning 
they won't cause a sudden spike in your blood sugar levels. Are oranges bad? No, not really, but guavas are sometimes better. Now, for those who cannot go without a without a toast, a little bit of a bread, right? Some people, no matter what I say, they can't go without it. Well, that's fine. Get your pumpernickel bread and get your Ezekiel bread. Put it in the freezer. And then next day, take it out of the freezer, put it in the toast that helps prevent the blood sugar spikes. And then put some nice avocado on top of it. It is a staple in many healthy diets for a good reason. These creamy fruits are rich in heart healthy monounsaturated fats which can lower your cholesterol levels and improve insulin sensitivity so the bread that you're putting your avocado on is not going to spike your blood sugar because you froze it and you toasted it and you put avocado which is fat it will slow down the absorption and you're going to be the winner your blood sugar is not going to spike avocados are also a great source of potassium and fiber now what else in your diet you should use? Well, some pumpkin or some butternut squash. They may be, you know, just thought about in the fall or during the Halloween season, but they are great at all times for managing diabetes. These orange veggies are not only low in carbohydrates and fiber, but also they are delicious. You can make soup out of them. You can make salads out of them. And the next day, you want something else? Try zucchini, right? It seems like an ordinary vegetable, but it has some extraordinary benefits when it comes to diabetes. Of course, you guessed it right. It has low glycemic index. It has high water content. Zucchini, that's why it can help regulate your blood sugar levels. It's also very versatile. It can be used in, again, soups, the salads, even as a substitute for pasta, right? Now, some people don't like the idea of bell poppers. They call it nightshades, whatever. But guess what? They are colorful for a reason. They're attractive. They're delicious. They're packed with nutrients. God created it. What else reason do you need to eat those bell peppers? They're good for you. They're high in vitamin C, antioxidants. They all can improve your insulin sensitivity, reduce the inflammation in the body. So go get some bell peppers. Don't be shy. Plus, that they add a tasty crunch to any meal let me give you a funny story uh, my dad my father he's so addicted to those peppers that we'll go to a restaurant and he will ask for those peppers for the crunch to eat with his meal funny and crazy now broccoli broccoli may not be everyone's favorite vegetable but you know the benefits for diabetes. It makes it worth adding to your plate. Find a way to enjoy this cruciferous veggie because it's so rich in fiber and contains a compound called sulforaphane that can help improve your insulin sensitivity and lower blood sugar levels. Now, what about garlic? Everybody loves garlic, right? Not only does garlic add flavor to your meals, but also has some impressive health benefits. A lot of studies have shown that the garlic can help lower blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity and maybe even some blood pressure reduction, right? So go ahead, add that extra clove of garlic to your next meal. Of course, we cannot go without olive oil, right? It's a staple in my diet, in Mediterranean diet. It's known for these numerous health benefits. Why? Because it is heart healthy. It has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity uh, there are substances in there that reduce the inflammation, even helps with the joint pains. It's a natural NSAID. It's a natural ibuprofen. Now, you'll see these people in Italy that are in their 90s, 95, and they have no joint pains. Why? Well, because they eat olive oil every day. It's delicious on your salads. So don't look for a salad dressing. People say, oh, I hate the taste of the vegetables. So I have to put dressing that are high in carbs and uh, saturated fat. Forget that. Your best dressing should be some extra virgin olive oil, some lemon, some apple cider vinegar. Vola. You have the best dressing ever. You will not regret it and you will love it. Now, how about shrimp or seafood? Well, shrimp in this case is not only tasty if you know how to cook it right, but also can help manage diabetes. 
These shellfish are low in carbohydrates, high in protein, making them a great choice for everyone looking to control their blood sugar levels. And of course, you need to make sure that these shrimp are naturally sourced, humanely sourced. So yeah, I know sometimes you want to go buy the less expensive stuff, but then always the best for you, not best for the environment either. But the shrimp is high in omega-3 fatty acids, high in, in minerals like zinc and selenium. Now, I know some of you are like, what about beans, right? Well, it may not be the most glamorous food, but they are definitely one of the best thing in managing diabetes unless you overdo it. These legumes are low in fat, rich in fiber, slow down the absorption of glucose in the blood if you know how to eat it right, not with the rice, right? Um, they provide a good source of plant-based protein. That is so common in Middle East and Mediterranean countries that they rely on this type of protein or plant-based countries like india for example they don't eat a lot of meat um, and it can be very versatile you can again make soups salads people make desserts out of these things okay now we talked about um, the raspberries and blackberries but i also want to mention that all types of berries deserve a spot on this list like strawberries, the blueberries, the cranberries, they're all packed with antioxidants that can help improve your insulin sensitivity and lower blood sugar levels. So if you're looking for a snack, that is your go-to snack. If you're looking for something to top of your breakfast, that is your go-to. Now, next is spinach. Now, Popeye was onto something with his love for spinach. This leafy green is packed with nutrients that can benefit those with or without diabetes. It is high in fiber, vitamin A, vitamin C, and minerals like magnesium, all of which can help improve insulin sensitivity and regulate your blood sugar levels. Now, we talked about the chia seeds, and you're going to be asking, I know, about the flax seeds, right? Well, last but not least, we have this flax seeds, tiny but powerful seeds. They also help manage diabetes. They are super high in fiber, and guess what? They're high in alpha linoleic acid, a type of omega-3 fatty acid, very important. They also have anti-inflammatory properties, improve the insulin sensitivity, and so forth. Now, I think we did round 17 delicious and nutritious foods today. And if you know how to incorporate them, and that's why I have written a book for you, the Diabetic Diet Book, uh, that's available at sugarmds.com. You're going to be able to freely download it. And the print book is coming up as well. You're going to find a lot of recipes to incorporate these foods. A lot of times we talk about these foods and you're like, I don't know what to do with them, right? And that's why we came up with this book. But go ahead and add these things to your grocery list and then find out what to do with them, right? All right, perfect. Keep calm and manage your diabetes with these superfoods. Well, until next video, I'll see you at the next dinner. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.